there is the place of prayer, knowledge, and personal development in prophecy fulfillment. Many believers don't know that they have a part to play in prophecy fulfillment. Many think that once they have received a prophetic word, that is all, and that the prophecy will come to pass. That is not so true. Many believers are frustrated today because they have received certain prophecies from certain men of God, genuine prophets of God, and such prophecies have not yet been fulfilled in their lives, and they don't know what to do. Listen to me. When you have received the prophecy, you have a part to play for that prophecy to come to pass. Know that prayer has a major role in prophecy fulfillment. About 80 to 90 percent of prophecies you will receive are conditional prophecies, which means that if those conditions are not fulfilled, that prophetic word may not come to pass. The earlier you know this, the better, because it will help you to stop wasting time and waiting unnecessarily whilst you should be doing something for that prophetic word to come to pass. Many believers have died and they never saw their prophetic word come to pass. Some even think that the prophecy the man of God gave was false. That is not so true. Know that knowledge, personal development and preparation and prayer has a major part to play in prophecy fulfillment. When you read 1 Kings chapter 18, 14 downwards, the prophet Elijah gave a prophecy. He said, go and tell Ahab that the rains will be coming down soon. We see that after he gave that prophecy, he went down to Mount Carmel to pray. Whilst the king was on his way to go and eat. You see something? The man of God knew for that prophecy to be released on earth. He needed to engage in prayer. So the prophetic word you have received is true, but you have a part to play in making sure that that prophetic word comes to pass in your life.